You people are looking at me like I really, you know, are you really a stunt man? <laughs> I am. I was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's stunt penis. <laughs> I really did two movies with Arnold, and I never will forget what he said to me. Howard, you look a little puny. Come into my trailer, we'll walk out. <laughs> well, let's see, you guys are looking good. Are you having a good time? Yeah. yeah. I'll put a stop to that. <laughs> Well, a little bit of the news. We'll start with the news, huh? The government is now collecting all our emails, text messages, and phone calls. Why can't they collect baseball cards like everybody else? <laughs> the IRS is looking for Lois Lerner's emails. So far, they found the secret recipe to KFC and Obama's foreign policy. <laughs> what else? Oh, California. This is a strange state, really. I mean, I've lived here for a long time, but I still can't get over it. I was in DMV the other day. Had four hours to kill. <laughs> and I'm looking around, and I see you can take the driver's license test in any language known to mankind, even Klingon. <laughs> and I don't understand this at all, because all the street signs are in English. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> you see the signs on the highway? Adopt this highway? What happened? The Chinese run out of babies? <laughs> Let's see, what else is in the news? Hillary Clinton, you, you know, either you love her, you like her, you hate her, whatever, whatever, it doesn't make any difference. She stood by her man when he was dipping his wick. I've had girlfriends leave me because I left the toilet seat up. <laughs> and you know, you know, the secret to women in the toilet seat thing, you know what it is, don't you? They don't look, they just back in. <laughs> they drop the trowel and just back right in. They don't know what's going on. She could be up, it could be down, they don't care, they don't look. I look before I sit down, don't you look? Absolutely. I've always had trouble with women. I'm trying to find women to date, they're shorter than I am, because seven out of ten women shorter than me are grandmothers. It's okay, they don't eat much in every year, you get a birthday card with a dollar in it. <laughs> I met a woman one time, she was cute, she was bright, shorter than me. And I went to her house to pick her up and found she was being raised by a family of hobbits. <laughs> we had a nice relationship for about six months, but I knew we were going to have to break up because I'm Jewish and she's fictitious. <laughs> When you find a girl and you date her for a while, are you dating this girl or is this your daughter? Oh, his daughter, okay. Well, when you find a girl and you're dating her, woman, whatever you want to call them, I think they're girls, they're always girls to me, and you date for a while and, and, and you know it's wrong, but you just can't give it up. You just can't. You can't stop. I went with this girl for a while and I knew we were going to have problems. I took her to Hawaii on a nice romantic vacation. She wanted separate islands. <laughs> Her mother even told me, you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you get older, though, you know, every year you, get, you find yourself hanging out with older and older people. You notice this? Yeah. It's amazing. It's just, it's just amazing. And you, you get yourself into some situations like, one day your kids are going to call you up and they're going to go, hey, Pop, we're going to take you for a ride. <laughs> Get yourself into witness protection. You're going straight to assisted living. And the only thing they assist you with there is your money. We had to put Pop in one. It was horrible. It was just horrible. I mean, I just... We, ha we had to do it, though. There was nothing wrong with him. Mom just didn't want to wait on him anymore. <laughs> My mother, she's a character. She's uh, 92. She has uh, problems with her legs, you know, diabetes, and she can't walk too well. She has a cane. So every time I go visit her, she wants to go to Sam's Club. She loves Sam's Club. So I said, Ma, get in one of these little baskets and ride around, you know, little carts and ride around. She goes, no, 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 that's for old people. <laughs> 92. Uh, you guys are a good crowd, good crowd. I like you guys. Should we go for milk and cookies later? <laughs> Ah, what else? I can't, uh, I told you, Curly, I can't think of everything anymore. I get Alzheimer's. I was walking around the house the other day talking to my mother on the phone. And I, and I walked by where I put the phone. 
and I realize the phone's not there. And I'm talking to my mother like this, and I'm talking, and I'm looking at all the house on the phone. It's right here. <laughs> Let's talk about something that, uh, now I'm, not, I'm not against this, I just don't like the idea of that being the only thing. Pink, all these pink ribbons. Now I know breast cancer is a big serious thing. But there's other forms of cancer. They get no treatment whatsoever. You know, you don't see Susan Coleman walking a, a three-walk mile to save my balls. <laughs> That's all right. What I want to get, leave you guys with, I guess my time is up already. I can't believe it. I've been here, what, 12, 13 hours? Uh, <laughs> If you're on the freeway tonight, I just got one thing to say. If you're on the freeway tonight and you're in the left-hand lane and people passing you on the right, move the fuck over. 